Hello everyone, Spectre here, and welcome to Star Citizen. Today we are going to take a look at the Enfield Terrapin. Enfield Terrapin is a scout ship in Star Citizen, and also is a pathfinder if you talk about exploration. But very unfortunately, um, exploration is not an option currently, because Star Citizen currently we got only one system, so no exploration. And also, the scanning with radar is not w uh, fully developed yet. So, it means that the majority of the function of the ship is not available in this game now. Yeah. So, it turns out this ship is quite useless at some point. Or maybe, I should say, it's too expensive to be useful in this game for now. Alright, so before I talk more about it, so let's get to it first. At the front, as you can see, it looks like uh, fully armored. And this is a cockpit with um, turret with size 3 weapons, I believe. It's a turret, by the way. So, um, it's nice. But um, this is the only weapon you can access anyway. So. Yeah, if you're doing some combat missions, unless you're a very good shooter, if not, um, well, I would say good luck for you to hit something. Alright, so in here, you got a ramp. So this is the only, the only access point for you to get in or get out of a ship. So basically, if your ship is under fire, well, good luck for you. I mean, I mean, good luck for you to get it off of your ship in time. Here, you got some engines, four at one side, so it means that eight in total, which is very nice. And the outlook of the ship, the outside of the ship, it looks like this already, so uh, basically nothing to say. Let's get inside of it first. This door is a ramp, so it means that um, it's good for you to get in or get out of the ship. It's easier. Oh, by the way, this seat, uh, you can see, it looks like a, it looks like some sort of boss should sit here. Like, uh, under the dungeon. If you're talking about, like, um, <laughs> I don't know, some sort of, like, exploration game or um, other games. Like, in a dungeon, you should have a boss sitting here. Kind of, alright, it's so odd. Okay, let's close the door first. Maybe it just happened to my ship, or maybe the other ship looks like this as well. The door will disappear at some point, I don't know why, and in here uh, it's just white. I don't know if I jump out of the ship, what will happen? I don't want to try, I don't want to die yet, I mean, uh, I mean in the game. Um, yeah, so if this is a glitch, oh, it's okay. So if it's a glitch, um, I won't suggest you to try it out, especially after 3.15. Uh, if not, you might lose a lot of your personal items. Alright. Alright, before I sit on this seat, let's get to the other components first. Here, you got some um, power plants. It means that you can do a little bit repairing around, I mean, inside of the ship, which is very nice. But some components are locked because it's not developed yet. So, for example, radar. So, that's why. And here is a toilet with a toilet seat. I mean, you can sit on the toilet, which is nice. You can have, like, what, one, two, two of your friends to sit here with, um, play it alongside with you, fly with you. That's very nice. It got a bed in here for you to lock in and lock out. I don't suggest you to use it. Well, uh, same as usual, yes, because uh, if you lock, use it to lock in or lock out. Uh, current at the current state in alpha testing of the Star Citizen, basically you might end up like being alone in space without your ship. And the only options for you is to backspace yourself. 
so which is not nice after 3.15. The second reason is the design of the bed is not good. As look up there, you got an often like a microwave and also with a fridge. So what does it mean? It means that all your all of your food will be made in here, taken out from here, right? But just imagine, some of friends, I mean, one of her friends, slip on this bed, and you try to make some burrito or other things. I don't know. And you're trying to take it out from the microwave, and you're not very careful. It ends up your friend might eat your burrito or other things that you made as they're sleeping and you drop it on their face. Is it a good thing? Well, most of the part is not. I don't know. Alright, in here, you've got some life support that you can't access to it because it's not fully developed yet. And jump drive is not available for you to open it. And I see someone is being lazy again by copying something without turning it upside down. Or maybe the design looks like this, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to judge, but uh, it looks like someone is being lazy for me at some point. This is the gun rack with an armor locker, so uh, you can lock your armor here or your suit, which is fine. And uh, you've got some guns and also some like ammo rack in here. Let's get on the ship. I mean, uh, not not a ship, but uh, the station here. This station looks like a roller coaster. You got something lowered down to fix you in, in place, and also you can see. Something is moving around. Yes, just like uh, what you are using on the colors red. However, the colors red you can kind of um, access to the, I mean, to the camera and also um, the spotlight. But um, the Enfield Turpin currently the radar is not useful for scanning, so basically it's no use. Just another seat for your friend. But in the future, I do believe that uh, if you point at some directions, then the radar is kind of telling you more details. For example, like longer range or the target with longer range away from the ship. So which your pilot who are flying the ship cannot see it. But in this station, the one who controls this station can see it. Which is nice. Just I think, by the way. Let's move on. We got more ship's components that you can open it right now. Alright, which is very nice. So, the same thing on the other side. Alright, and then in here is the pilot seat. So, you may find out, well, if you're paying attention a little bit, then you can find out something is not going right at the screen. As you can see, something is shaking. Not because the ship is shaking. Uh, yeah, I can tell you the reason why. I was trying to figure it out when I arrived, I mean, before I arrived. Yeah, then when the time I arrived and I tried to look around, I found the reason. Okay, let's see. Okay, ready? Yup, I'm running on the seat while I'm sitting on it. That's why. Alright. Welcome to Star Citizen, by the way. Okay, here, let's talk about the view. I would say, not good. Yup, this is not a combat ship, by the way, so uh, you, you don't really care about the view. So, it's acceptable, relatively. And if you talk about weapons, yeah, two guns only, no missiles at all. Good luck with that. Alright, so if you switch on the engines, you can turn it into veto mode. Which you can be easily or easier to land or take off, which is very nice. 
Alright, so... If you want to buy this ship... In-game, alright... Uh, it costs you around uh, 2.5 million in-game credit. Yep, it's quite expensive. Um, if you talk about the ship, as uh, pathfinding is not available right now, and exploration is not available right now, and the radar up there is not available right now. So uh, basically, the ship is quite useless. If you buy a ship with in-game credit, that cost you 2.5 million well unless you are spending your extra cash i mean extra credits in game if not i won't suggest you to buy this ship at the beginning but uh, if you say well is it really nothing you can do mm, well sure you have guns so you can do fighting but you need to be patient and also well, you need to be a very good fight pilot, uh, combat pilot. If not, well, basically, um, it's a suicidal mission for you. One way out. One, I mean, one way to get, uh, one way to get. And um, yep, if you are talking about, well, box delivery, yes, of course you can do it because at the back you have enough space for you to put your packages or boxes. Yep, still glitched up, but, uh, by the way. Yep, so uh, basically you can do box delivery, still nice, okay? If you don't mind to like kind of spending time on those. But you say, if you say like carrying cargo, there's no official cargo capacity on the ship, so zero SEO cargo. Um, so you can't do any kind of trading. If you talk about like really containers, okay, instead of boxes. All right, so yeah, why is good? Yeah, because in the future, basically, if if it's in Pyro or like developed um, the other systems, this ship, I believe, you can use that radar a lot. Which this radar is a military grade. This ship is a military ship. So uh, if you're playing or you watch some videos about like a, a Sino threat or maybe like a Nine Tails event, you can see those terrapins, um, the AI controlled those terrapins to fly around to search for um, to search for like uh, the Mantis or the other ships that um, to stop the quantum traveling. Yep, those are the terrapins. So basically this ship is quite useful in the future. But just not now. And 2.5 million in game credits is quite expensive. Even is in game. So um, if you want a ship that is useful, especially in 3.15, all of us will like kind of having trouble to like earn our credits. So um, this ship is not definitely, or I should say, most likely not your first ship to purchase. Alright, by the way, some people may still ask, how does this cost for real money? Yeah, if you really want to support this um, game, and if in the future the pyro system or the other systems is developed, which you got some missions about like uh, pathfinding, um, like searching for something, or even like scanning like the terrain, then you really want the ship and you want to own it instead of like every time you did grind your way up there to own the ship um, yeah of course you can pay for like what I think it's like two, over $200 210 or 220 something like that yeah it's an expensive ship and it's less capable or for fighting because it's really special on scanning and also scouting uh, which is why um, unless you really want to support the scheme development if not well I just think that you should purchase it in game if you have like extra credits in game yeah you can purchase it and fly around to see 
whether it's useful or not, especially like currently CIG is trying to develop the other systems already. So basically, well, it might, you might have a better chance for to use those, um, to, to use this ship on those um, systems. All right. So yeah, that's my thought and also uh, the things I know about the ship course um, if um, you think this video is quite useful for you then feel free to leave a like and if you think that I should improve something or uh, you want to ask me some questions about this ship I will s yeah so feel free to leave a comment down below all right and one more advice um, as you can see the the ramp is kind of glitched out right so I would suggest you if it's glitched out that just very um very very simple here you've got a open exterior okay just press this one then it will be opened all right it will open by itself so that you won't be trapped in the ship inside the ship i say okay all right then so i shall see you guys next time bye bye